Today, I wanted to talk about that pesky time of the month. Periods come not only with mood changes, but also those agonizing cramps. Every woman will experience this at one point or another, but for some it's just unbearable. The uterus has a lining, which is just perfect for an egg to attach to if one is produced. When there isn't any egg to attach, the uterus begins to break down that lining and tries to remove it from the body. This process is why we experience menstrual bleeding. In order to get the uterine lining out of the body, our uterus needs to contract. These contractions are what cause those painful cramps. The uterus relies on the release of chemicals called prostaglandins to contract because it cannot contract on its own. Higher levels of prostaglandins can lead to stronger and more painful contractions, which is why some people experience more severe menstrual cramps than others. Let's discuss how to alleviate the pain. The first thing I suggest is to apply heat to the lower part of your stomach. In studies, applying heat has been shown to effectively relieve menstrual cramps. Surprisingly, it's been found to be just as effective as Motrin and even more effective than Tylenol. While some might find applying heat a bit of a hassle compared to taking a pill, the upside is that it comes with no side effects. Plus, using heat therapy might actually enhance the effectiveness of other treatments you might be using. Heating pads are a great option since they allow you to keep a steady temperature. But if you don't currently have one, filling up a bottle with some extra warm water should do the trick. If heat is just not doing it for you, that's when we can reach for some common household medications. You can use any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication such as Motrin, Advil, or Aleve. Or you may want to opt for Tylenol depending on your situation. If you're thinking about getting pregnant, it's best to stick with Tylenol and avoid other medications. Because drugs like Motrin can potentially harm your baby during pregnancy. It's important to note that while Tylenol may not be as effective as other medications, you can enhance its effectiveness by using the heating method we mentioned earlier. Remember those pesky prostaglandins we talked about earlier? They're the ones responsible for triggering uterine contractions and causing those dreaded cramps. Well, Motrin, Advil, and Aleve all work to decrease the amount of prostaglandins you make in your body. And that's what makes them so effective at treating cramps. But there is a trick to get even more relief using these drugs. Starting any one of these drugs two days before your expected period can help control the pain of cramps better. This is because you are decreasing the amount of prostaglandins being made right before your period starts. And less prostaglandins means less contractions and less pain. So if your period is the 23rd of each month, it is best to start your Motrin on the 21st. If the heating pads and Motrin just aren't doing the job, that's when you want to speak with your doctor and consider starting birth control. If your doctor thinks it's appropriate, they may prescribe a combination of estrogen progestin contraceptives. These contraceptives contain synthetic progestins that work by preventing ovulation and gradually thinning the endometrium over time. This thinning reduces the amount of arachidonic acid which is needed for prostaglandin production. As a result, these contraceptives can decrease both the amount of bleeding and the intensity of uterine contractions during periods, which helps reduce menstrual pain. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully when using these contraceptives to ensure their effectiveness and to minimize any potential side effects. If all of this still isn't enough, you may want to consider investing in a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator. Now I know this is a mouthful, but don't worry I'll explain. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation can be a great option for managing pain when other treatments haven't provided enough relief. This non-drug therapy uses a device that sends mild electrical impulses through your skin to help control pain. It can be used alongside other treatments, both hormonal and non-hormonal. It's the device pictured here, and it comes with a little box and some wiring connected to several sticky pads. You place the pads on your stomach and can increase the intensity of the electrical stimulation until you feel some relief. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation therapy works in two main ways to reduce menstrual pain. First, it raises the threshold for pain signals from the uterus by sending a series of impulses through large sensory nerve fibers. This reduces the perception of painful uterine signals, making the pain less intense. Second, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation stimulates the release of endorphins, which are natural pain-relieving chemicals from peripheral nerves and the spinal cord. 
Studies measuring intrauterine pressure have shown that transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation therapy does not have any effect on uterine contractile activity. With that being said, it is best to pair this method with either Motrin or Tylenol in order to reduce contractility and decrease pain sensation. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. Thank you for your ongoing support.